Hi, my name is Stella and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of yarn shopping online. <laughs> beautiful yarns on mine that I'm planning to buy and I did want to share with you all my process on finding them online and buying them online with you. So it's kind of a mini haul online. I'm going to show you of course once they arrive what are my plans and what kind of uh, styles am I planning to crochet with them. I often get asked about my yarn, where do I buy it, how do I buy it. Purchasing yarn is actually not that easy, especially online because you don't know what the yarn will be looking in person. So today I thought I'm going to share with you also my top tips on how to go about and buy yarn online, which hopefully will be helpful for you when next time you are going to buy online too. So I have my iPad here and this way I can share a little bit of screen recording with you. And you can see exactly how I go about shopping for yarn online. So first stop, I will check Love Crafts website. When I'm yarn shopping, I always like to check their website first because they have a lot of options there, different kind of brands. And also they have a lot of discounts as well. And also they ship to Germany for free. Once in your cart, you have a, a minimum of 50 euros. And this kind of leads nicely to my first tip for shopping for yarn online. And that is to try and shop on sites that offer free shipping or have other discount options. The first yarn that I'm going to order today is Simply, Simply Chunky Yarn uh, from Paint Box Yarn. I kind of have a vision of making a chunky uh, cardigan and a sweater as well with balloon sleeves uh, for winter and I have in mind some neutral colors and of course I also love a pistachio green I don't know why this year I am kind of in love with pistachio so this brings me to my second tip for online yarn shopping and that is be really specific with your search terms so I know I want a chunky yarn I know I want it to be acrylic or something mixed with acrylic since I don't want to spend a fortune on these yarns and you know that yarns can be really expensive. And I know I want a pistachio color, so the yarn that I want to find should have the pistachio color. So I'm going to search acrylic, chunky and pistachio and let's see what we can find. I'm going to be selecting also chunky 6 to 8 mm option since I'm not interested in going through all the other yarns. Selecting again the acrylic option here and here we have all the results for my selected terms. I'm going to go here with paint box Simply Chunky since it's the cheapest option and they also have a discount as well. I'm going for uh, the 10 skins pack because I know that cardigans or sweaters they usually take 7 to 10 skins of yarn. And now that we are at the main page of this yarn, let's select the colors. I think I'm going to go with this vanilla cream right here. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I also want to have the pistachio green. So I'm going to order that too. And once they are on my shopping cart, with these two colors on my shopping cart, and out of the way, now let's check for a thinner yarn and since I have plans for thinner yarn too. So let's continue with paint box yarn since they have some very affordable price and let's check their options for other yarns too. Okay, so let's check out this Simply Aran Aran. I said, I think I'm saying it wrong. Yarn that they have. It is thinner than the chunky one, but I think 100 grams for 184 meters long, it's okay for some projects that are thinner and autumn, maybe. So let's go with the Kingfisher Blue. I do want to use some blue as well uh, for this autumn. And Slate Green. I love the Slate Green here too. I'm in mood for green this autumn <laughs> and winter. So let's check if they have the 10 pack offer. And they, of course they do and they are on my shopping cart too. So I'm not gonna go online yarn shopping without checking one of my favorite online shopping websites, which is Ice Yarn. Probably you have heard that too. The Ice Yarns are a Turkish yarn website, but they ship worldwide. 
and they have the most amazing and huge range of yarns that one can desire and so many color options so i always go and check there they are not the most affordable especially uh, for acrylic and this uh, cheap kind of yarns because i can find that yarn cheaper with websites that have like free de delivery in germany so they are kind of pricey for that but they have a very good range for the luxury kind of or mixed with luxury fibers so let's check them out when i shop at ice yarns i tend to go through my email since i'm subscribed to their newsletter they send all the time offers that they have for the day or for the season and i tend to check out their offer and then see if that resonates with me or it's fine with me or something that i need and sometimes i will just put it on my wish list on my shopping cart but sometimes it will just stay there for some for a while so i start from there because their website it can become really overwhelming if i was going to start shopping from their main page i would use the second tip that i gave you previously in this video to be very specific with your search terms so let's go back to my yarn now and i will go on and get this light orchid yarn which is 50 percent wool and 50 percent acrylic i'm getting two packs of this one and since there is this huge discount i'm gonna order this dark khaki too but for this one i will order three packs since i might end up making a longer cardigan so let's just get three of this color and last i have been looking at this amazing kid mohair merino yarn since i had an email for a huge discount as well and i just can't get over it i really love this yarn and i have it on my wish list for the longest time so i'm getting three packs of this as well i'm going with a milky brown color because that color is more wearable for me so looking through the photos as well is also really important when you purchase a yarn and as you can see here the ice yarns actually have a little scale guide with a knitting needle under the yarn so this is another great tip for online yarn shopping because once you have this kind of scale, you can see that this yarn is thicker or thinner. Uh, probably you have kind of a feeling how the yarn will be in person. But something you do have to consider and which is my kind of fourth tip for you is also to consider adding the shipping cost to the overall price of yarn and sometimes there are also some additional costs uh, sometimes as it sometimes happens with ice yarns uh, so you have to consider that too. So this yarn shipping cost and other extra course costs are about 70 something euros, which isn't too bad and which I think it's a really good price for this kind of yarn. The next tip that I do want to give you shopping yarn online is to stick to the yarns and fibers that you already know and you have experience with them. So for example, I work a lot with cottons and acrylics, so I do know and I do tend to know how they will look in the real life and how my projects will look using them. So if you are buying online and you come across some kind of fiber that or yarn that you have never worked with, I kind of suggest to stay away from it or at least don't just commit to big packs like I bought as you have no way of knowing how this yarn it is going to feel like or look like once you have it in your hands. Instead, I recommend you to take all the notes that are given for the yarn, for the given yarn in the website and pop up to your local store and see if they have it there and see how this uh, yarn feels like also another thing that you can do is ordering trying to find it on amazon or ebay because they can ship even one skin of yarn and sometimes they will offer even free shipping for them so at least you know um, once you receive one skin and then you know exactly how the yarn looks like and if it's something that it suits you, you can then go on and order a full pack. And my final tip is don't forget about Facebook Marketplace, eBay or even Etsy and especially Facebook groups. Because in these Facebook groups, there is other people that are interested. You can sell your yarn or they will sell yarn and sometimes you can even swap yarns. So when I'm shopping online on a Facebook Marketplace, eBay or even Etsy, I again like to be very specific with my search terms and narrow down what i am looking for as for now i'm going through these two shopping carts that i saved for now and i'm going to buy them and the continuation of this video it is going to be a part two where i'm going to unbox these two orders so i hope this video was helpful for you and gave you some tips and tricks 
for the next time you are shopping online. I understand that shopping online is not always a happy ending and believe me, it happens a lot of times in the past to me that um, I did bought yarns that they were not really the ones that I was expecting to. But don't be disheartened if you don't get it right every single time. And hopefully all the tips that I gave you will be helpful for you in the next time that you are shopping online. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I hope you are going to give it a like as it helps a lot my channel to grow. And of course, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Have a great day and I will see you on my next one. Cheers!